Hi everyone, I'm Darren Gallman. Um, I'm an instructor here at Guitar Craft Academy in Nashville. I'm also the head luthier and shop manager at Gallagher Guitar Company in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Today I'd like to tell you about some potential problems that you could find in brand new guitars um, and what to look out for in case you uh, are in the market for one. The most important thing obviously is the top of the guitar. Uh, as we can see here, this guitar top is uh, starting to cave in. Um, what you want to look out for is that the in front of the bridge area that there's no belly. So as the guitar strings pull tension they twist the bridge this way. So if there's too much tension and the top can't take it then the bridge starts to to cave this way um, often followed by a belly after so if you see that, if you see a top that is going like this, then stay away. That's not a good thing. Um, that means that there's a loose brace, that the, uh, the bridge, uh, braces underneath are coming loose, that one is cracked, that, uh, that there's just a, a big, big problem. Um, the other thing to look out for when you're purchasing a guitar is the neck angle. What you want to do is find out, is the guitar playable? Is the action okay? Can you can you play it easily without depressing the strings too difficultly? Um, and if the answer is no, if it's not very playable, then you need to look down here at the saddle, which is the white piece that protrudes out of the bridge of the guitar. Um, if there's not very much saddle coming out of the bridge, then there could be potential problems with the neck angle on that guitar. You want at least an eighth of an inch eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of saddle coming out of the guitar. Um, if you don't have that, then you're looking at a very expensive repair. Um, basically what we'd have to do is take this fret out of the guitar, drill a hole into it, inject steam into the neck joint, and then work that whole neck loose. Um, it's quite extensive. Uh, then the, the end of the neck would be shaped and angled back properly and glued back together. It's called a neck reset. And uh, it, is, it is going to happen on your guitar at some point. Uh, it's inevitable, but it is expensive. And if you're buying a new guitar, you don't really want to have to put out that kind of money right up front. A few other areas that you want to pay attention to are the bridge. Something that can happen over a few years is the bridge will actually crack. The, right through the middle of the bridge pins, as a matter of fact. So it's hard to see unless you really get down close and look. But you want to know, too, because that's another potential uh, expense that you might incur. Replacing a bridge is not cheap, um, and it's not easy. Um, so if there's any cracks through the bridge pins or in the saddle area, then you probably want to avoid that guitar as well, unless you're prepared to pay for it. A lot of vintage guitars, are, they're going to have these things. In fact, they'll probably have all these things. Uh, vintage guitars are you know, they're old, so those things happen. But uh, you want to make sure that the guitar is worth it, that it's worth putting that kind of money into. When it comes to cracks on an acoustic guitar, they're not great. Uh, I wouldn't say that they really bother me all that bad. You know, they can be fixed. They're just more unsightly than anything, um, except if the crack is in a, in a certain area. So if you have a crack on the side that goes all the way around the bottom, then you know that the whole block inside is probably split, um, which is not a good thing. If there's a short crack on the side, on the top, next to the, next to the fingerboard on the top is a common one. Those all uh, can be fixed. They're all, uh, you know, inevitable at some point. Fret wear is another thing that you want to be careful of. Um, the frets can be replaced. Uh, they can be sanded down and recrowned. Um, so if there's still a good bit of material left on the frets, then you can do what's called a, just a level crown of polish, which we could show you in another video. Basically, you take the tops of the frets, sand them level, recrown them, and then polish them out again. And it makes them look just like new. Um, if the guitar is very, very old and the frets are very worn thin, um, then really they just have to be replaced. The rest of the, the, the things are just, you know, 
you know, they're small repairs, they're not as expensive. Like I said before, they're inevitable. You're gonna have to do a little bit of repair work to a guitar after a few years. If it's new, you shouldn't have to do any of that. So be careful about if it's a new guitar. But uh, if it's vintage and you're, and you're trying to find something, just so you can be aware of these are the things that, that uh, might be wrong with this instrument.